Hello everyone, it's Artisan Tony, and this is part two of putting a roof over two containers. And if you want to hear more detail about how I got this far, just go check out part one. Uh, in that part one, I had done all this drawing work and sent that information to David, and he's my customer. And he said he was good to go that he liked the better framing, roof framing. Let's go to roof framing perspective here. I've got one drawing I'm gonna do for him that just shows the, the way the trusses are done and the bracing. But he liked this stronger method of where the lookouts sat on top of this house line truss, and which I appreciate, I like that. A little more work will make a lot better job now you'll notice something different from the first video is now I'm working in this style that's just all uh, black and white basically. Uh, when we get ready to print our drawings, we don't want to use up people's uh, ink, their colored ink in their printer. So what we do is I change to this uh, sort of monochromatic, um, well it's a construction document <laughs> style basically. Uh, because you know now we're going from 3d model pretty pictures to uh, the real thing uh, where the professionals have to take over and they build this thing and what we do when we build things is that we use paper paper drawings and it'll be that way for probably another hundred years <laughs> hopefully so I have this other program that comes with SketchUp Pro called layout and it's literally, you can consider this um, paper space. And when I, I used to do a lot of AutoCAD work back, you know, in the early in the 80s and 90s, and we had model space and paper space. Model space was where you built your model, and this is all life size. There's no scaling here. Uh, this this is all drawn to actual size in model space okay when you get to paper space in this case we're looking at an 11 by 17 piece of paper this is what I like to do these small projects on because it's nice and handy and most well I'd say most printers will print this if not you can scale it to eight and a half by eleven it doesn't it's not as easy to read but you can do that but this is literally where we scale the drawings. The reason we draw them full scale uh, or life size here is so now we can take it, this drawing, and manipulate it to where we can look at it at different scales. You know, so what I do is I set up these views here and then I go back to to paper space or layout here and this is my cover sheet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert insert here we go <laughs> you're literally inserting a reference uh, to that drawing and so then I'll get it kind of the way I want it on here this box I have to go up here and tell it not to change the scale of it as I change the proportions of this box. You see now it's not moving. What I will do is kind of zoom in and use the pan to kind of get it at the right. Now this is the cover sheet so I'm not looking for a particular scale here. I'm just looking for what will look good uh, on David's cover sheet. And, and this does serve a function. I mean we're trying to give them a 3D image here so that people can look and it's easier um, you know to get an idea of what the project's about and typically up here we'll put the title of the project up here and then you know if this was a home it would say you know new residence for blah 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 whoever the customer was and the same thing down here we would put the the job name and the address and here's my atdrafting.com logo and over here you'll have the sheet name and here you would have the uh, sheets uh, list the drawing sheet list which I need to edit 
So then I would move on. So I think the next thing I'll do is something very basic, uh, which is you know needed. Uh, the other thing you can do instead of inserting that drawing every time, you can copy that reference and then paste it to the current layer. So then what I'll do is change this to a scene that I've set up, which is going to be the pier layout. Okay, and I want this, I want to see if I can get this at a quarter inch scale. Okay, good, I can. And so I'll put it here. Now I'm not gonna go through all the dimensions. I may put a few dimensions on this. Um, what I'm trying to do now is just kind of roughly lay out the sheets eventually what i'll do is i'll come back i'll take my dimensioning tool and i would probably dimension it here and then put a dimension in here and then another one that says 13 feet i need to make sure that is correct for him so these containers are nine feet wide i need to oh i'm sorry these are the footings they stick out uh, six inches on either side. That's what it is. Uh, that's why this is nine feet. So, and that's why that's 13 feet. There's actually 14. See, that's why we go through this exercise. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this one to the center. And then go to the edge. Then we'll come down here. So this should be 21 feet then. Yeah, and then what I would typically do is give a typical size, just do this. I'll turn my caps on, like that. And that just means that all of these are the same. If I had any that were different, I would have to pretty much dimension all of them, but since they are all the same, I can just do this and that will let whoever's doing the footings know. So that's, that's that. And then I would come and I would say, this is my, let's call it footing layout or you could call it pier, pier layout. And the scale is one quarter inch equals one foot. There you go. And this would be one of a 1.1. Easy enough. Okay. So now we can take that and copy it. Go to my next page. And on this page, I want to do want to show the containers so that scene is going to be basically the plan plan view that's 2.1 and what I may do is just quickly lay lay all this out and then uh, instead of boring you with all these details I just wanted to kind of give you an idea uh, on this sheet I think I want to do uh, I need to copy that I know y'all are getting tired of my uh, joke Roger so here I think I want to do is the um, roof framing plan yeah so what you're trying to do is just go through each level and I'll come back and dimension and label uh, all this later. And this is the roof. Framing. And then my next sheet is going to be, I think this one, uh, okay, so I had copied some notes from another drawing. You can see how I do my notes. I like to do these numbers. And this is really the neatest way I have found over the years to do this. Just have a number and then go have a have all your notes in one spot because you can literally that way just use these kind of like a checklist 
I just kind of wanted to show the roof decking. I don't know why, but since I went through the trouble of drawing it, <laughs> I think I'm going to show it. <laughs> and it'll give uh, whoever's, you know, when David gets ready to do his material list. Um, let's see, scene. I want to do roof decking. It'll be, you know, just give an easy way to um, do a takeoff. You can literally just count the sheets. I like calling uh, vertical surfaces sheathing and horizontal surfaces or sloped surfaces decking. I just like that uh, delineation. So then what would be our next one? Okay, so now we get into our elevations. The thing about it is the front and the back and the sides, it just occurred to me that's what we can do. We can do a, a front and a back scene. We'll do a front elevation. Let's see what scale it's at. Make sure we're still in quarter inch. Yep. And that's good. And then we'll copy this up. Turn straight up. And we'll call this one. This is going to be uh, the left side. But they're basically, you know, the elevations are basically the same. I guess the last sheet I'll show you is just the a section that I want to do. This one's called, what did I call it, section. So I think I like that just as a building section. So that just gives you an idea. I'm going to work on this a lot more. <laughs> and then I'll send out these drawings to the customer, to David. And it, we'll see what information he needs. And I'll just keep working on this until I get all the information uh, that he, and what he's you know so that he's happy uh, with everything because that's my that's my goal. I need all my customers to be happy. And I'll keep working until we get them there. So I appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you in the next video.